hello friends and welcome to my youtube channel uh, in this video i am going to continue the game and as you can see that uh, we are jumping on the tiles and uh, now we want to change the color of tiles when our player jumps on it so uh, to do that i am going to open my uh, qb script that is my main player script So also if you want to download the final version of this game I, I will put the link of uh, play store in the description of this video you can uh, download the fine version of this game from play store. <clears throat> so here is my uh, player script so in that go to the on collision enter 2d function because we want to change the color when our player collides with the tile so in that so when we are hitting the tile we are simply going to change the color and code for that I have already written it here I'm just copy that and paste it so uh, as you can see that we are simply getting the reference of our current tile from the collider so call dot game object so after that we are creating a renderer so to change the color we need to uh, uh, get the reference of our renderer component on our game object so that's why we are saying cube dot get component renderer and after that we are using this uh, renderer and set its material color property to whatever color you have Defined. so I am going to uh, copy the this part of code so this is basically an array of color so as you can see that we are creating a array of color with the name stand color and in that we have four different colors red green blue and yellow so uh, for now we only need one color so I will simply put this index to zero So now if I save this, go back in Unity and hit play. As you can now see that we are changing the color of tile. Also, we need to uh, fix this resume button. So, for that, I am simply going to create a new script here for all of the buttons. So, I will simply call it UI handler and I will create an empty game object with the same name. and apply the script onto that now open the script uh, 
and in here we are going to define a public function called replay game and to replay the game we will simply we will use a scene manager so i have to add this namespace unity engine dot scene management and scene manager dot load scene so we want to load the current scene so we'll simply say scene manager dot get active scene dot name now on resume button in the on click event we have to create an event and drag and drop our ui handler and after that we will simply call our function so the function is not showing here so it will take some time make sure to save the script so we haven't saved it save it and it should now appear so you can see that we have a replay game function now uh, in the replay so we need to change the text from resume to replay so we have to turn this screen off before playing so now let's add some sounds so for sound we can so i have some sounds here So I'm just going to drag this whole folder into our assets folder. And also we ha have to add the score functionality that we will add so now let's code our sound functionality so for playing sound we need to get the reference of our audio source so i will simply say private audio source and name it audio and in the start function we will get the reference initialize it and by using get component audio source so In the on collision function, 
we will simply before changing the color we will play the sound or by simply calling rd dot play now in the in unity editor select your game player object and add an audio source to it by going to add component and search for audio source and add it right there now in the audio clip property we need to initialize it with our sound so let's see So I think this is okay. So I'm going to in drag this jump sound into audio clip and save it. So and uh, make sure that play on awake is unchecked and uh, save this game and let's play it so now you can see that it looks much better now we have to add the score functionality so to do that i am going to simply go to create ui and text and in this in this uh, rect transform component select this uh, square icon and press alt and shift and then align it on the top center now uh, double click on this text and make sure that your scene window is on and uh, drag and drop it so increase its size and in here sim just put some text and make sure that best fit is checked and minimum size so increase it and align this text in the center of our text container now again we need to center it and it's here change the max size and want to bold and we want to change the color also so make it orange now uh, to add a drop shadow to this text we will simply add a shadow component to it so it will make it more prominent now uh, change this name to score text and in qb script we are going to change it so first we have to get the reference of our text so right here score text and we will simply say public text so for text we need to actually import unity uh, library so we will simply say using unity engine dot ui now 
in this code text so now in our collision after playing the sound we are going to update the score so we will simply say score text dot text is equal to integer dot parse so uh, actually uh, we will uh, get the current score from uh, this score text so it will be zero so first we will get zero and add some value to it so let's say zero plus five or plus five and then we need to again convert it to string after that i will say to string now make sure to initialize this text so in the QB so it will appear right here 